Suppose the supply of apples is given by S is equal to 10 plus 4P and the demand for apples is given by D is equal to 100 minus 6P. Suppose the government institutes a subsidy of $3 per unit of apples sold. Calculate the revenue R which the government needs to pay for a subsidy. Well, uh, pause the video, try to do it yourself first. Yes, so you have the supply function, which is 10 plus 4P. You have the demand function, which is 100 minus 6P, right? And uh, subsidy, is $3 per unit, right? So can I write supply function as 10 plus 4 P as that is supply price. This is 100 minus 4, 100 minus 6 P D as the demand price. Well, you know that when the subsidy is given, you know, subsidy is like the negative of tax, right? So consumers, they have to pay little lesser. So it is going to be like this, P D is equal to P S minus 3. So at equilibrium, at equilibrium, demand is equal to supply. So that would mean 10 plus 4 PS is equal to 100 minus 6 PD, right? I can just plug in the values. I can write uh, everything in terms of uh, PD also or PS also, whichever way. So maybe I want to write everything in terms of PS. So PS is going to be PD. Uh, so, so PD is going to be PS minus 3. N plus 4 PS, 100 minus 6 PS plus 18. So once you solve this, your PS will come out to be 10.8. Hmm. And uh, PD would be uh, PS minus 3, which is 7.8. Fair enough. So now what I can do is that I can substitute this PD in demand to get quantity, right? So Q is going to be 100 minus 6 PD, which will come out to be 53.2. So quantity is this much. So for this much quantity, the subsidy which is there is three per unit, right? So the revenue which the government needs is, so to, uh, revenue which the government needs is 53.2 into three. The total revenue required pay for subsidy is going to be 53.2 into 3. That will come out to be, I think, 159.6. So the answer is C. Answer is C, right? Let's have a look at this question. Read the question and try to do it yourself first. A cake of weight one kilogram is to be shared between two consumers X and Y. A consumption vector is denoted by XY where X is the consumption in kilogram by consumer X. Y is the consumption in kilogram by consumer Y. Which of the following statement is true based on this information? So they are asking you about the Pareto efficient and the fair allocation. So a fair allocation is one which is both Pareto efficient and envy free. Envy free is that I do not envy what you have and you do not envy what I have. So if 0, 1 is there, 
So I have zero amount of cake and you have one amount of cake. Is this Pareto efficient? Yes, it is Pareto efficient. Why am I saying it is Pareto efficient? Because supposedly if you give something to me, then your utility is going to fall and my utility is going to increase. And this is what Pareto efficiency is, that you cannot increase one person's utility, in this case mine, without decreasing yours. Right? Ek ka, ek tukla aapne mujhe de diya, to meri utility bad jayegi. Aap meri utility tab tak nahi bada sakte, jab tak aap apni utility na giraay. To ye Pareto efficient to hai, but is this fair? Right? Don't you think it is, it is full of envy? I envy what you have. I do not have any amount of cake. So I envy what you have. It is Pareto efficient, but it is not fair. So this is not true. 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Is, is this Pareto inefficient and fair allocation of the cake? Now, what about Pareto inefficiency? I have half of the cake and you have 0.4 of the cake. Right? So don't you think that up to, we already have one unit of cake. We can make you better by just giving you that unit. So there is a Pareto superior allocation which is there. Uh, one, this is not even a feasible allocation. 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Right? So there is something which is left out. So there is, we can make you better off without decreasing anyone. So I do not have to touch my half cake. मुझे अपने केक को नहीं छूने की जरूरत है आपको अगर 0.1 यूनिट और मिल जाता तो आपकी यूटिलिटी बढ़ जाएगी पहले तो फिजिबल ही नहीं तो बात ही खत्म हो गई तो ये परेटो एफिशिएंट तो नहीं है बिकॉज़ इसका परेटो सुपीरियर एग्जिस्ट करता है 0 0.5 0 0.5 जिसमें हम आपकी यूटिलिटी बढ़ा सकते हैं विदाउट डिक्रीजिंग माइन इज दिस एलोकेशन फेयर नो बिकॉज़ अगर आपके पास कम है केक तो आप मुझे एनवी करेंगे Assuming that both of us like more of cake than less. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Is this Pareto efficient and fair allocation of cake? So, ab, hum dono ke paas aada aada cake hai. If I, can I make you better without decreasing my utility? Agar main apna cake aapko de deta hon, to aap to better ho jayenge. Lekin meri utility kam ho jayegi. Ya aap apna thoda sa cake mujhe de dete hain. So, I will better, ho jaunga, but you will be better. So, we cannot make one person better off without decreasing others. So, yes, indeed, this is Pareto efficient. But this is not fair. Uh, is this fair? Yes, it is fair also. Do I envy you? I will be half cake and you will be half cake. So, I will not envy you. I will not envy you. So, it is envy free. Hence, this is a fair allocation of cake. Right? So, C is the right answer. So, can you tell me for this question? What is the set of the Pareto efficient allocations in this question? Kya hai us sare ke sare Pareto efficient allocation uh, is particular question. Right? Chale, I hope this was useful to you. Thank you, Bata.